All right, I was doing some research on the web for uh, new shad flies, and I stumbled across a cool pattern called the Cliffy Shad Fly. I found that uh, that fly on the midcoastflyfishers.org page. <clears throat> Slightly different fly than I've seen before. I thought it would be fun to tie up and give it a shot this year. Um, I'm going to be tying this on a Mustad 3366A hook, and I'm going to be using. Uh, this looks like UTC, Ultra Thread, and a 140. Uh, so first off I'm going to lay down a base thread. Take it all the way about to the bend of the hook. And Next we're going to tie in some yellow kip tail. We're going to tie in some kip tail for the tail of the fly. And the instructions say to keep the tail short and stubby, but to tie in a length of hair, the length of the shank of the hook just to build up a bit of a body. That's about right. I'll bring my thread back up. Give this trim. I'm just going to tie that in and bring it back to the bend of the hook. Short stubby little tail there, and a little bit thicker body. And the next material it calls for is um, I guess some sort of tinsel yarn. Not exactly sure that I have that, but I did find um, kind of this sparkle thread um, I'm sure you could just use uh, flashaboo or crystal flash in a silver color. I'm going to go ahead and use this thread because that's what I have on hand. Cut a length of that and kind of fold it a couple of times just so I end up with um, four or six strands on either side when I fold it around around the thread like so. I'm just going to do that in half around the thread and then capture it at the top of the hook. And then I'm going to advance my thread forward. <clears throat> then I'm just going to use this thread and wrap the body with this kind of sparkly tinsel thread. Yeah, that looks nice. Take your time. Once you get the flash up to the head, go ahead and capture it with your thread. And we'll give it a trim. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and give it a whip. And go ahead and cut our thread off, and here's why. I'm going to take some minnow body, which is just really nylon cord or nylon rope with a, a mylar body around it. And what we want to do is cut a length of this that we're going to insert over the hook and around the tail. So you want a length that's just probably past the length of the tail. It's about right. And then you just want to pull the, the nylon rope out of it. So you end up with this kind of hollow body, just like a 
you would use on a gotcha. And now we just want to slip that over the body of the fly. Kind of pull the fibers around. There we are. You may just have to move those fibers kind of around the the hook bend. And we'll go ahead and put the hook back in our vise. Alright, next we want to reattach our thread. and go on and capture your mylar body. This can always be a little tricky. Just make a make a few counter turns on your your bobbin. Helps kind of grab all those little braids. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and tie on an hourglass eye. The original fly calls for bead chain, but I like heavy flies, so I'm going to use an hourglass. And then we will build up an eye, or sorry, build up a head in front of the eye, and whip finish. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of fray out the tail. So you kind of end up with the tail that's, or a body that's wrapped around the tail, kind of extending that flash. Something like that. And that's the Cliffy Shad fly. <clears throat> I think I'm also going to try this with an uh, orange tail and a gold body. I think that might be a, a deadly combination. So uh, I'll give it a shot this year and, and see how it works on the water.